In this video, we'll learn how to make Kodak's Remjet Remover. The solution easily removes the Remjet backing off of any ECN2 film. Let's get into it. A quick safety reminder before we get started, this recipe contains one gram of sodium hydroxide, also known as lye. Be sure to wear safety goggles or glasses and rubber gloves while mixing and handling this pre-bath. Kodak's list of ingredients can be found here. It'll also be linked in the description below. You'll need a 1000 milliliter storage container, a 1000 milliliter pitcher, a gram scale, a small container to hold dry ingredients, your favorite stirring apparatus, and a can-do attitude. The following ingredients can be found on everyone's favorite online superstore. You'll need 1000 milliliters of distilled water, 20 grams of borax, 100 grams of sodium sulfate anhydrous, and one gram of sodium hydroxide, also known as lye. When sourcing sodium sulfate and sodium hydroxide, look for options labeled food grade. To get started, heat 1000 milliliters of distilled water to at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. Pour 800 milliliters of heated distilled water into your pitcher. Measure and pour 20 grams of borax into the pitcher while mixing at a steady pace. Mix until the borax is dissolved. Next, measure and pour 100 grams of sodium sulfate into the pitcher while mixing at a steady pace. Mix until the sodium sulfate is dissolved. Finally, Carefully measure and pour one gram of sodium hydroxide into the pitcher while mixing at a steady pace. A quick note, a small endothermic reaction will occur when adding the sodium hydroxide to the pitcher. Mix at a steady pace until the sodium hydroxide is completely dissolved. Fill the pitcher to 1000 milliliters with distilled water and mix well. After mixing, carefully pour your remjet remover into your 1000 milliliter storage container. This is the only developing chemical that I don't store in an airtight container. I use a relabeled hydrogen peroxide bottle. The prior batch of Remjet remover I mixed was still working after months. If crystals develop in the pre-bath after a period of unuse, strain them out with a coffee filter and your pre-bath will be as good as new. So how well does this pre-bath work? All it takes is a dip in the pre-bath followed by a dip and rinse in some water. The carbon backing loosens immediately and comes off the film with little resistance. It works a thousand times better than baking or washing soda. Congratulations, you just mixed Kodak's Remjet Remover. Go shoot some ECN2 and check out my upcoming video on how to develop it with this pre-bath and Cinestill's 2-bath ECN2 kit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.